The U.S. looking at an active Atlantic hurricane season this year. CSU researchers released their preliminary hurricane forecast today. And Danielle, they're predicting an above average season. Exactly, you guys. We're looking at the potential for more named storms than what's typical for this time of the year and for hurricane season. So with that, 17 named storms, what they're expecting. Out of those 17, nine hurricanes and four major hurricanes. That means categories three, four, five with winds sustained 111 miles miles per hour or above 2025. They are expecting to be 125% of average, so certainly slightly above all because of these sea surface temperatures out there in the Gulf, parts of the Atlantic as well as the Caribbean already in the springtime. We're looking at these temperatures in the 80s, if not even warmer, and this just means this is rocket fuel basically for hurricanes to really get going. We have light winds out there, a ridge of high pressure that's typically set up shop across the Atlantic uh, really is not going to be producing any strong winds that helps to break up these storms. So what's typically average? Uh, we go through data between 1991 and 2020. We get 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three typically major. And then what about 2024? It was the one of the deadliest seasons that we have seen since 2005. We had 18 named storms, 11 hurricanes, five made 400 fatalities. So last year was a tough one. This one with the weather conditions looks like it could be tricky too.